I look terrifying. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm a makeup artist. Today we're going to be turning Chloe into a it inspired makeup. So clowns are really having a good time. We're having their moment right now because of the latest It movie. And yeah, I'm really excited. So let's go and turn Chloe into a clown. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So right now I'm going to be putting her hair into pigtails. I wanted to give it a little bit more of a clowny look. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and get started with the eyebrows. So we'll be using a glue stick and a spoolie. So I go in the reverse direction to get all the glue in, and then I go back with a spoolie and comb it in the direction of the hair. So we're going to use Meron white setting powder. So then I'm going to go to Okay, and then we use a brush to brush off the excess. I'm gonna do a little bit of color correction because uh, as you can see, if you look closely, they still see some of the gray of the eyebrows still left over. So I'm gonna go ahead and using a color corrective wheel. <laughs> I'm gonna take, buff it out a little bit in the brush. So there's some color in there. And then I'm just gonna lightly put some, all right, we're gonna put some cream on top of that. We're gonna go ahead and powder that again. Okay, here we go. And then we're gonna brush off the excess. This is a very white, like cream body paint, like makeup. Okay. Ooh, there it is. We're gonna start making the base of her face white. I'm just gonna go stipple it on a little bit. Now with makeups like these, especially if you're doing something scary, um, it's okay if things are not perfect because you want that roughness, you want that grunginess of the character. So if you do this at home, have fun. Doesn't have to be perfect. Honestly, it'll look good. So because we're gonna be applying a lot of powder on her face, which is gonna be the same white powder we used earlier, I decided to put a cape on as well as pin uh, some of her hair back so it's easy, easier for makeup application. Press that in. And this helps seal the base. So now we're gonna get started on some painting. So we're gonna do the eyes first. I'm going to start applying it over the lid. Because I feel like my face doesn't move properly anymore. We're not going, we're not going completely for beauty here. We're going for a little bit more on the scary side. Yeah. I'm gonna take that a little bit. So we're gonna go over the lid. And then we're gonna be using a black powder, black eyeshadow powder. I'm just gonna be blending out the body paint edges into the rest of the eye. And I'm gonna do a little bit of dark eyeshadow here. And then kind of bring it down where I'm going to put the, the line. And I'm going to go ahead and use a mascara. I want a bloody, more bloody red. So I'm going to go into this darker red here. So his lines go all up to here. I'm just marking where I need to put my lines. Yeah, so I can see where I marked everything. And then we're going to start putting in lines. So I'm going with the gray, putting in some little wrinkles here and there, making a little bit more dirty looking. Add some shade to the nose. Start highlighting some of the cracks. You gotta dab it on. Just dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it, dab it. Get some glitter. And then we go 
Terrifying. Oh my god, ew. That's so good. <laughs> wow. It's confusing because it's like a horrifying look, but like the glare is so pretty. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Come here, children. 